Hi there, in this video we are going to see how you can install uh, Countly uh, locally for testing purposes and we're going to use a method that I'm not uh, used uh, in this, uh, let's say, course uh, which is about uh, running it directly uh, through a port. So um, I'm not going to use actually the port uh, 48 here uh, because I already have Redash running on it but that's going to be close to the same uh, possibility. So uh, let's start back with clean <coughs> clean sheet. Okay, so by copying, pasting this given line of code that you can see over here, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask uh, for Docker uh, to go and fetch an image, which is the uh, last one of currently. And I'm going to ask it actually uh, to uh, set the full container on port uh, 8889. So let's go for it. I'm going to ask me my password. Okay. And uh, so here it's saying, okay, I can find the image of currently locally. So it's telling me that I did not download it uh, before, but I'm going to fetch it on the uh, Docker server in order to see if there's an image there which is named currently. And this is what's happening here. So it's going to fetch it and it's going to download it. And probably I will have to um, speed up the video because it may take uh, a bit of time. So as you can see, uh, now it's starting to download the different uh, resources in order to make uh, the full installation. So let's see. Um, how fast this is going to be. Okay, so uh, that's good. It has been uh, downloaded and everything has been extracted. So if I go now on port 9 and 8, and uh, if I'm lucky enough, which is the case here, so it's going to ask my name, going to ask my email, <coughs> username, so I can do this like this, and password, which is the same. Okay, so I can create an account. <coughs> Uh, here I need to put my, the name of my app and here I need to choose the type of uh, application that I would like to track. So in my case, it's going to be a web app. Um, Times on Germany, I can leave it like this. Website domain, I don't mind. And here it's very interesting because they ask you if you would like to populate uh, the data already. Anyway, I'm going to say local host. Um, it's going to populate all your data. Uh, with, of course, fake data. I think it's interesting if you would like to have a foretaste of uh, what currently looks like. 
and as you can see all uh, the data start to be sent and of course you can uh, after that create another website which is a uh, 100 percent clean and and uh, see what it looks like so start generating okay continue and now you have uh, your uh, full country running uh, locally so that's great for testing purposes uh, you can have a clear idea of what it looks like in terms of ui data extract the data i mean play with it and uh, start to have fun and of course if you would like to start tracking your data all you need to do is that you need to click uh, over here click on configuration then uh, you need to click uh, do, do, do. i think it was on wasn't api okay no, not api um token manager or maybe settings that was the setting okay well anyway we'll probably make another video more specifically about uh, about it okay so that's the place need some help so you need to click on web and here you need to ask what you would like to get so in my case it's going to be this and then to say okay i just want to track the page views for example and then generate the code and then you have the code that you can then copy and paste on every pages of your website in order to start collecting data just for the website if not uh, you can go and play already with the data which have been uh, populated here once more, uh, thanks for watching. Do not hesitate uh, to create your own videos.